This is going to be replacing the heatsink compound on a T470S, which is a Lenovo laptop. So here's the laptop. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the screws and get into the case. So you don't need anything special, you just need a, a flat headed screwdriver. So I just need something like that. And as you can see, there's the screws. So you can use a small Phillips as well, but I find this is a bit, bit, bit better for opening them up. So we've got one, two, three, four here, and five. Ignore that one, that's to do with the keyboard to unlock it. So let's get going. Okay, so when they're fully up, it's just a simple case of popping the back cover off. So just use your fingers underneath. Sounds a bit brutal, but provided you've got all the screws undone, there might be just one catching here. It normally just lifts away. And there's the bottom of your laptop. So as I said, Lenovo T470S here. So out of interest, you've got memory here, you've got your M.2 drive, a few other bits and pieces, and the, the piece we're after is this heat sink area here. So the CPU's here, and it's got some heat pipes, a couple of those leading to the fan here. It's also quite a good idea every so often just to pop that back cover off and spray out or you know dust off the fan here, because it does pick up fluff and dust, and it's just a good idea to, to remove all that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a small Phillips to remove these four screws. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna remove those and uh, it should just pop off. It should be fairly straightforward. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is un unplug the fan electrical connector as well. So what I'm gonna do is try and use my fingernail actually, if I can, and just slide that this way. Bit persuasion and there we go popped off and he goes back on one way and um, so now we've got that off we can now start to undo the heat sink I've got a multi set here so I'm going to choose the correct size just so I don't round anything off So I'm just using a positive drive or Phillips. There we go. Just about to see that one. There we go. So nothing special. And I'm going to undo them. I'm going to try and be uh, fairly even when I undo them. So do them at kind of across the one here, one here. And what they do is they just pop off. They're like spring loaded. So I've kind of just gone in diagonals. Last one. And once they're all released, it's a case of just lifting the heat sink away. And there we go, you can see there's the bottom. So that's actually got some heat sink on there, they're fairly well done. And then there's the CPU itself, the actual die, so it's covered in it. Probably a bit too much, and I don't know if it's any good this stuff, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna replace it. So there we go, there's your heat sink and fan module. Looks like copper, I presume it is. And then there's the CPU area. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get some cloths. And I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and clean that up. So it's just a case of really wiping all this off. Like so. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Making sure I don't get any of this anywhere else because it's quite messy. So I'm just going to wipe it off. Like so. There we go, you can see. Nice and shiny dye there. 
So once that's been given a good wipe, I'll move on to the heat sink. Okay. Same with this one, just give it a good old wipe, make it nice and clean. Obviously get as much as you can off because it's pointless having more than you need. You can see it's, it's gone hard already actually, it's quite maybe cheap stuff, I don't know, low grade. There we go, so give this a good clean up. And then once that's done, we're ready to apply the new compound. Okay, there we go, so nice and clean. You can see that's lovely and clean, there's no bits there. And same with the heat sink. So what we're going to do is we're gonna apply Arctic Silver. It just happens to be the one I use, there's plenty others out there. But um, I think Arctic Silver, what's this one, five? Yeah, this is pretty good stuff. I've used this for quite a few years now, so. I'm going to put this on here, don't need very much at all, just a light coating really, and then we'll stick it back together. So I'm just going to apply a really small amount. Um, it's a little kind of, I think grain of rice is what they say. Okay, so I've got a small little piece there as you can see. Um, that's probably a bit more than I normally put on, but there we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and smooth that in. My method is with a plastic bag. So rather than use your fingerprint, which is going to have, your fingers going to have oils, etc., and transfer any dirt, I'm going to use a small plastic bag. And then we'll smooth that around, and then we'll see how it fits up. I'm just going to get some of this off my hands first, because it gets everywhere. So I'll smooth this around. Try and have a coating, even as you possibly can. And if you need to add any more, just do a tiny bit more. I think that's probably enough. I've got a small gap here. That's what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to position the heatsink, and then we'll see how it looks. And if there's enough, perfect. If not, we can always add a bit more. But uh, let's just off the heat sink back on. And make sure that when we get contact. So what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a little wriggle when it's in situ. Lift off. Yeah, that's looking really nice now. So that's quite good coverage. You can see there's just enough on there now. It's not squeezing out too much. But there is plenty there. And then we're going to screw it up. So I'm just going to go in that order to start nipping them up a little bit. And as you see, I'm kind of going in diagonals. Make sure we're all happy. And then we can screw them up. Don't need to be tight, they weren't tight when I undid them. So they're kind of spring loaded to a point. And then that is it, done. Make sure we're all happy. And last but not least, of course, plug your fan connection back in. There we go, make sure that's okay. And job's a good one, so let's switch it on. And there we go. So we're up and running. 